Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi, students. Welcome. This is ninth class, chapter two, laws of motion. Welcome to period two. Today we will discuss Newton's laws of motion. There are three laws. First law, second law, and third law. Let us discuss the first law. A very object will remain at rest. or in a state of uniform motion unless compelled by to change its state by the action of a net force i repeat every object will remain at rest or in a state of uniform motion unless compelled to change its state by the action of a net force the first law explains what happens to an object when no net force acts on it suppose no net force acts on an object then the object either remains at rest or moves in uniform motion uniform motion means constant speed and constant direction that means a straight line activity 1 take a glass beaker use a suitable plastic lid put a coin on the lid apply the force gently you will observe coil falls in the beaker activity 2 arrange few metal coins one over the other as a stack as shown here gently kick one of the coins you will observe that the coil gets out of the stack without disturbing the remaining coins over it similarly activity 3 arrange a few books like a stack gently remove one book in activity 1 activity 2 and activity 3 the body at rest always try to stay at rest it does not accept any change in its position until some force acts on it this property is known as static inertia static inertia the property by which a body at rest always tries to be at rest and does not allow any change in its position until some force acts on it is called static inertia activity 4 here a marble is rolling it moves in the same direction until it is disturbed by some external force the body in motion always tries to move in the same direction it does not accept any change in its direction until some force acts on it this property is known as dynamic inertia dynamic inertia the property by which a body in motion always tries to move in same direction until some force acts on it is called dynamic inertia let us consider a football in the ground it is at rest and according to the first law 
it will remain at rest unless someone moves or kicks the ball now if you kick the ball it will fly in the direction you have kicked if someone stops it then it will stop otherwise it will continue its motion if the ball goes high the earth's attraction force gravitation force pulls it down and when it is rolling on the ground the force of friction between the ball and the ground makes the ball slow down and finally the ball stops so here the forces are many not a single force the gravitational force frictional force force applied by persons like that there are many forces acting on this ball so the force applied by us is just one of the several forces acting on the object at a time it is the net force that determines the change in motion of the body not a, a single force we have to consider the net force the total result sum of all the forces acting is to be considered if the net force acting on an object is zero the object which is at rest it will remain at rest if the object is already in motion with certain velocity in certain direction then it will continue to move in the same direction with the same speed let us assume that you are sitting in this space where there is no gravitational force acting no stars no planets influence at that place then suppose you are having your morning tea after taking a sip if you place the cup in this space and leave it it will remain there forever until you pick that cup once again now suppose if you throw that cup in some direction then that cup continues to move in that direction with that same speed forever 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 until someone come across its path a planet a star a person someone hits or catches that ball cup it will continue its state of motion so if a body is already at rest it will continues to be at rest if a body is in uniform motion it will continues to be in that straight line motion with the same speed so it is continued until any one external force acts on the object so we can define that if uh, f is equal to 0 if there is no force acting then there will be no change in the velocity of the object velocity means either in speed or in direction there will not be any change so newton's first law of motion is also known as the law of inertia what is inertia the property of the body not allowing to change its state of rest or its state of uniform motion is called inertia because of this inertia the body continued to 
be in its uh, rest uh, continues to be in its uniform motion when it is compelled by an external force okay this is all for now tomorrow we will meet in the next period till then take care thank you